Ju Junius Mavant. Mavant, yes. Mavant. I practiced his name for hours before doing this. Welcome everybody to a very special, very special Pop Does Presents. Because not only is our founder CEO, Fred the Dog, here, uh, but we also have Junius Maven, all the way from Iceland. I'm gonna get into your music. NPR recently described your music as Arctic soul that draws chill from your bones. Is that a good thing? I'm not sure. I think they're talking about your music brings out some sort of deep it's you feel it in your bones. Do you, do you agree with that? Yes, I think so. So NPR brought up your Arctic soul. Rolling Stone magazine said uh, that you have gentle plush arrangements with a hint of acid freak enigma. They're blowing my brains. So uh, acid freak is that something? Do your friends is that, is that how they describe you? Maybe. What else do we know about you? Junius, did you know Latin name meaning youthful? What? I don't know what Maven means. It sounds like a, like from like Harry Potter, like a, maybe like a, a, like one of the, I don't know. Yeah. Like an old curse. We will have our writers look into it. And when they publish this article, I promise you we will include the meaning of your last name. Mm -hmm. Your musical influences. I read on the internet, so I know it's true, that uh, it was actually 90s hip hop samples. Yes. You love those, you trace them back. Like, where did these samples come from? That uh, like, created a love of, of 60s and 70s funk and soul. Yeah. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Wu -Tang. I, I really liked the hip hop, but I always related more to the beats behind it. Back in the day, wait, 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 wait. I, I couldn't relate, like, Do you have any why bars? are they shooting each other? Why? Well, I didn't understand, you know? It's like laser tag. That's what that is? No. Yeah. Other influences that you ended up landing on, the Brothers Johnson. Brothers Johnson? What? Nina Simone? I love Nina Simone. And I think your all-time favorite, David Axelrod's Songs of... Innocence? Songs of Experience? Yes, I love him. Did you know that uh, Songs of Innocence by David Axelrod was based off of the 1789, that's the 18th century, going way back, illustrated collections of poems by William Blake? I did not know that. These are illustrated poems by William Blake from the 1700s that inspired your favorite album of all time and your last album, I really love that album, but not, it's not my favorite album of all time. Well, what's your favorite Who one? Who said that? Brothers Johnson and the internet. The internets. There's a rumor going on the internets. Who said that? I said that. Wait. I don't know. George W. Bush. The internets. He said a lot of creepy things, though. It's like, I, I believe yeah. humans and fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> yeah, he said ridiculous stuff. Greatest. You're an artist and you did the cover art of your album, Floating Harmonies. Yes, I did that. Up. And the Icelandic Music Awards gave that album Best Pop Album of the Year in 2017. I paid a lot of money. <laughs> I thought so. I, is, is that how you do it? Reese's Kids with this Tash. Pocket. Like you. 500 kroners. The best singer I've ever met. Pop Dust Certified. That's right. So now you have Across the Borders coming out. What can people expect? How will it be different from the last project? Maybe more mellow sometimes. Okay. But also a beat. I don't know. You tell me. I'll tell you what the album's gonna be. It's gonna be just like the Brothers Johnson. For for Across the Borders, what does that album mean? Uh, it means you have to cross some borders mentally. And physically, like emotionally, emotionally, you have to do some some things to uh, get further in life. Sometimes bribes and people, yeah, bribes and people, credit card, credit spending. Spree. What's the plan after this? You got some music videos to shoot. You're gonna be touring. 
Love PCP in a dark room. Yes, dude, that's what I'm talking about. With a boxing bag and a lot of PCP. That's the way to do it. You heard it here first, kid. With, with friends, watching the friend series. PCP with friends in the background. Ba Joey! We were on a break. They weren't on a break, you know? It was like Ross they Rich stuff, you know? They were. Yeah, they were on a break. This is what I was wondering about. Your music, I looked at Spotify alone, maybe five songs, added it up, you were at like 20 million plays, which is like phenomenal. And then I go on Instagram, got like a little less than like 4,000 yes, followers. Yes, because I hate doing social media. The in interesting things I want to share with people, like, oh, look at this bottle, it's pink, and it's out in the wilderness. That sounds very specific, did that happen? Yeah, no, no, I'm just making this up. That was the first and, thing you thought of? Yes, and I get maybe 50 likes, but if I do a narcissistic selfie, People are full of themselves. If I want to uh, boost it up, I would go full-blown narcissist. I, I think you should eventually, you know? I will do that. I'm gonna go full-blown narcissist. Thank you everybody for watching Pop Dust Presents with Junius Meva.